All right. Whoa. Let's take this off. Ooh, another letter. And the big reveal, wow. All right, so let's start off with my camera equipment because I have my iPhone set up over here filming everything and I want to get this over with so that I can switch these around. So I'm using an Nikon D610 which is a full frame DSLR that does both photography and videography pretty well. I like this camera. I just wish I knew how. I, I don't know if it can do it or not. Uh, I'm only recently starting to use this uh, for vlogging. I wish I knew how to use this in like vlog selfie mode while having the shutter speed and aperture uh, manually set while the ISO just floats around uh, automatically on its own. That would help me a great deal to get the right exposure but I'm not sure if this camera can do it. Right now I'm using it uh, in complete manual mode and sometimes it just it's too bright or too dark uh, I'm still figuring it out on my camera I'm using a ultra wide zoom lens that goes from 18 millimeters to 35 millimeters so this one fits in everything if I want to do vlogging over here though I have a 50 millimeter prime lens and uh, this one it will be too close so uh, if I do it in vlog selfie mode I, I need to have this lens further away from me but it's a prime lens with a 1.8 f-stop so uh, it's a really fast lens it's good for a low lighting situation and it gives me that uh, cinematic look with the blurry background uh, if I ever want that so this is what it looks like through my DSLR camera Throughout my video, you might notice that the quality keeps on improving because uh, I'll be talking about some of the equipment and then after I'm done talking about that, I'll be uh, attaching it onto my camera. Like this item. This is a Rode VideoMic Pro and I got this recently in the mail. I've noticed that a lot of vloggers are attaching this onto their DSLR camera when they're vlogging. Uh, so I'm going to get much better uh, sound quality with this. So, yeah, I've uh, used this for a few days and I, I like it a lot. Back in my early YouTube days, I used to do a lot of singing. And so I would record myself with this Samson CL7 Studio condenser mic, uh, which I would place on top of this mic stand. And then I would connect it into my USB audio interface. I used to have an M-Audio fast track. Uh, but that one broke, and so I replaced it with this Focusrite USB audio interface. This one uh, is pretty nice. So I connect it into here by XLR cable, and then the USB cable goes into my laptop. Next, let me show you my teleprompter equipment. So this teleprompter, I actually made myself. I used foam paper, tape, and a piece of glass, and I made it all to the size of my iPad. So it fits nicely in like this. And you should be able to see the scrolling text in the reflection. Now, because the base of my teleprompter is pretty wide, uh, it won't sit nicely on any tripod. It doesn't even have the hole here uh, to screw in the tripod. So what I had to do was this. I made this tripod myself. I just got a piece of wood that's around the same size as my teleprompter. I carved a hole in the middle and screwed it in uh, by placing, gluing in, a, is it a nut or a bolt? In there. Uh, and so, yeah, it looks like this. It's, it's a pretty messy job, but at least it's cheap, you know? It sits it down like that. By making this teleprompter setup on my own, I saved so much money. If you try to buy it yourself, like a professional one, it's gonna cost you around $700 US, I think. No, $500 US maybe. But you know, I only used this teleprompter for two videos so far, 
because at my old place, I just didn't have enough space. You actually have to be seated pretty far away from the teleprompter uh, or else uh, the camera is going to be able to read your eyes uh, moving left to right, right? So if you're far away enough, then uh, you can't really tell. I like to use teleprompters when I'm doing a video about uh, something a bit more complex where I have a lot of different points that I need to communicate. So that's some of the equipment that I use to make my YouTube videos. Now I'm going to show you some of the rewards that I received from YouTube. Starting off with this package here. So I received this package from YouTube when I hit 100,000 subscribers, but uh, I never made a post or a vlog about this, so I'm showing you guys now. Let's see what's inside. So first, we have a letter over here from uh, Tom Pickett, VP, Global Head of Content Operations of YouTube. Uh, looks like this. Let's take this cover off. And then I have a camera bag over here. Oh yeah, I, I think I remember you had the option to either take a camera bag or two little uh, fold-out chairs and I chose a camera bag. I already have a camera bag. I use this camera bag and I like this much more, but they give me this one. I haven't used it yet, but maybe if I want to get some attention somewhere, I'll wear this one. It's one of those uh, sling bags, I think. Wait, how do you wear this? These kind of sling bags are always confusing to me. What? Oh, I think I'm figuring it out. No. Yes. This is it. So this is how you wear the sling bag. And sling bags are good because you can get easy access to your camera by just sliding it over here opening it up, grabbing your camera. When I hit 100,000 subscribers, I think YouTube also sent me a silver play button. Well, they're supposed to. But when I got the silver play button in the mail, I wasn't home at the time, and I got a note saying, if you wanna pick up the silver play button, it's gonna cost you this much money. I think that price that they gave me was like a customs clearance cost. And at the time, I wasn't making enough money, and I think it was 50 bucks or 70 something bucks. Like, that was too much for me to spend. So I was like, no way, I'm not gonna pay for that. Like, it's a reward, why should I pay for that? So I never got my silver play button. But I got something even better, and I got it a week ago, and I haven't opened it yet. And so, uh, for you guys, I'm going to open it right here, right now. Can you guess what it is? It's really big. I think this is going to be the gold play button. Let's see. Look at that. It's really heavy too. All right. So let's begin to open. Some styrofoam in here. Whoa! Inside the first box, we have a second box like this. Let's take this off. Ooh, another letter. You're bigger than Vancouver. You're bigger than Venice. You're even bigger than Las Vegas. One million subscribers. Maybe you've imagined that day for a long time. Or maybe you never thought that you'd grow so big. Either way, not much can match the satisfaction of finding out that your creativity, that your ideas, that your voice speaks to one million people across the globe. We know that being able to touch the lives of so many people is reward enough, but we're incredibly proud of all you've done. So we hope that you'll accept this gold play button as a token of our esteem. With your track record, we suspect that you're only going to keep growing. 
and we can't wait to see you reach the next milestone, 10 million subscribers. It may seem far away, but remember the days when, but remember the days when you were excited to have a thousand? You've amazed us. Keep daring, keep dreaming big, and keep creating. Your inspiration for everything we do. Yours sincerely, Susan, Susan Waikiki? Thank you. And the big reveal, wow! It's beautiful! Check this out. Wow. Ho oh, ho. Let's move this out of the way. So it says my main channel here, Imagination. There's a gold play button here. And I think it's made out of real gold. And it says, Congratulations for surpassing 1 million subscribers from YouTube. Where am I going to place this? I want to thank you guys for being a part of all of this. I never imagined that I would get to 1 million subscribers. Uh, thank you so much for your continued support. Hey you guys, I've got a really exciting announcement that I want to make. My wife and I started a joint YouTube channel together titled We The Kims and I'd really appreciate it if you go check it out and subscribe. If you're one of my real fans, you'll go and do that right now. Thank you.